everyone, how are you? I hope you fine. So in this video, we will discuss about chapter two from chemistry. Okay, that is bases, bases and salts. Okay. You have, uh, you have learned in the previous classes that the sour and the bitter tastes of food are due to acids and bases, respectively. Okay. In the previous uh, classes, you had uh, already, uh, we, uh, we have learned that. Uh, Learned that uh, sour taste, uh, sour taste of uh, sour taste of foods are due to acids, and uh, bitter tastes of food are due to bases. Okay, present in them. If if someone if someone in your if someone in your family if someone in, in uh, the family is suffering from a problem of acidity after overeating, which of the following would you suggest as a remedy? Lemon juice, vinegar or baking soda solution? Here is the question that if uh, uh, someone in your family uh, is uh, suffering from a problem that is acidity okay, after overeating. So which of the following you would suggest as a remedy? Lemon juice, vinegar, or baking soda. Of course, we suggest baking soda solution. Why? Because we all know that uh, baking soda is based in nature. Okay, so it uh, uh, nullify uh, the effects of each other. Okay. Okay, each other effect. Okay, so that's why we suggest baking soda. Which property did, uh, did you think of, uh, of while choosing the remedy? Surely you must have uh, used your knowledge about the ability of acids and bases to nullify each other's effect. Okay. Recall how recall recall how we test uh, tested sour and bitter substances without testing them. You already know that uh, acids are sour in taste and uh, change the color of blue litmus to red. Okay. We all know that uh, uh, acids are sour in taste. Okay, and it will change the color of blue litmus to red litmus. Okay. Whereas bases are uh, bitter in taste. Okay and uh, change the color of the red litmus to blue litmus okay red to blue and acid change uh, change the color blue litmus to red whereas base change the color of uh, red litmus to blue okay now let's see what is litmus litmus is a natural indicator it is a natural indicator, okay. Turmeric is another uh, is another uh, such in, uh, indicator, okay. Turmeric is uh, also an indicator, okay. Have you noticed that a stain of curry on a white cloth becomes reddish brown when shop when shop poof, which is basic in nature? Okay, is scrubbed on it, it turns yellow again when the cloth is washed with plenty of water. Okay, here is a question that have you noticed that a stain of curry on a white cloth becomes reddish brown when uh, the soap is scrubbed on it. Okay, it turns yellow. It turns yellow again when the cloth is washed for a, a, with a plenty of water. Why? Because soap is basic in, uh, basic in nature. Okay. You can also use uh, synthetic indicators such as uh, methylene, uh, as uh, methyl orange and uh, phenol phenolphthalein to test for basics and base. Okay. 
these are some other indicators, synthetic indicator, okay. We also use synthetic, synthetic indicators to, uh, to test for uh, ASICs and bases, okay. In this chapter, we will, uh, we, we will uh, study the reaction of acids and bases. How acids and bases cancel out each other effects and uh, many more interesting things that we use and see in our day to day life. Okay. Understanding the chemical properties of acids and bases. Okay. Here is an activity. Acid plus metal, it gives salt plus hydrogen. Okay. Acid plus metal it gives salt plus hydrogen. Okay. Acid plus metal it gives salt plus hydrogen. Here you can see the Sodium hydroxide plus zinc, it gives sodium zincate plus hydrogen. Okay. This one is our base. And this base plus metal. It gives salt plus hydrogen here. Okay. Metal uh, and uh, acid, acid plus acid plus metal it gives salt plus hydrogen gas and uh, acid plus acid plus metal it gives salt plus uh, hydrogen gas and also uh, base plus metal it gives. Salt plus hydrogen gas. Okay, so now let's see here. Metal carbonate. Metal carbonate or metal hydro hydrogen carbonate plus acid. It gives salt plus carbon carbon dioxide plus water. Okay. Metal carbonate or metal metal hydrogen carbonate plus acid it gives salt plus carbon dioxide plus water okay and acid plus uh, acid plus metal it gives salt plus hydrogen and base plus metal it gives base plus metal it gives so salt plus hydrogen okay here okay. One example that uh, sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid it gives sodium chloride plus water. Okay, so we know that uh, this one is our base plus acid it gives salt plus hydrogen. Here you can add base plus acid it gives salt plus hydrogen. Okay. Is our base OH minus gives base, we all know NH plus gives acid. Okay, so this one is our base, base plus acid, it gives salt plus water. Okay, base plus acid, it gives salt plus water. Now, let's see here. Metal oxide plus acid, it also gives salt plus water, okay.
do you know all bases do not dissolve in water all bases do not dissolve in the water okay and alkali is a base that dissolves in water okay all bases do not dissolve in the water only alkali is a base that dissolves in the water okay they are soapy to touch bitter and corrosive okay and uh, they are uh, soapy to touch and bitter in taste and corrosive okay never taste or never uh, or uh, touch them as they may cause a never touch and never uh, taste them okay because it causes which of the base in okay all base, uh, all bases are not dissolved in water and uh, alkali is a base that dissolves in the water okay and it is so good to touch एक्सोथर्मिक Care must be taken while mixing concentrated uh, concentrated nitric acid or sulfuric acid with water. Okay, if we if we mix uh, concentrated uh, nitric acid or sulfuric acid with water with water, we should okay. The acid must always be added slowly. to water with constant with constant stirring okay uh, acid acid uh, always added slowly okay added slowly to the uh, to water with constant stirring if water is added to con- uh, to a concentrated acid then the heat generates may cause the uh, mixture of Splash out, uh, splash out, and uh, causes cause burn. Okay, burn. If uh, if we add uh, water, uh, if uh, water is added uh, to a concentrated acid, then uh, the heat to generate, the heat generate may uh, may causes uh, may cause may cause the mixture of splash out and uh, causes burn. The glass container may also break. And the glass container may also break due to excessive due to excessive local heating. Local heating and the uh, and the glass may also and the container may also break due to excessive local heating. Okay, excessive heating. Look out! Look out for the warning sign on the on the field. There is a warning sign is given. Okay, showing figure two point five on the on the can of concentrated sulfuric acid and uh, on the bottles of sodium hydrochloride. Lilits. Hydro oxide plant. Here is the warning sign of the one. <coughs> Mixing and uh, acid or uh, base with water result in decrease decrease in the concentration of iron. Concentration of iron. <coughs> concentration of ions. Hydronium. Hydronium iron by Hydro, uh, hydronium or uh, hydroxide per unit volume. Okay. 
mixing an acid or base with water, it results the uh, in a decrease in the concentration of ions per unit volume. Okay. Such a process is called di dilution. Uh, so such this process, uh, such a process is called dilution. Okay. And uh, acid and the acid or the base is said to be diluted. And the acid and base are said to be said to be diluted. Okay. How strong are now let's see. How strong are acid or base solution? Okay. We know have uh, we we know how acid base in, uh, indicators can be used to distinguish between base and acid and a base. Okay, we uh, we know that uh, how acid base uh, acid base indicators can be used to distinguish between the between uh, an uh, acid and a base. Okay. We have also learned in a previous section about uh, dilu dilution and decrease in concentration of H plus ion or OH minus ion. Okay. In solution. And in a previous section, uh, we already uh, we we also learned uh, we have also learned uh, that uh, about the dilution and uh, dilution and uh, decrease in the concentration of H plus ion or OH minus <coughs> ion in solution. Okay. Can we can we can we uh, quantitatively find the amount of these ions present in a solution? Here is the question that can we quantitatively find the amount of uh, ions that are present in a this solution? Okay. In a solution. Can we judge? How strong a give acid or base is? We can <coughs> we can do this we can do this by making use of an uh, universal indicators. Okay, uh, with the help of uh, universal indicators, we can do this. Okay, uh, which is which is mixture of several indicators universal indicators uh, which is a, a mixture of uh, several indicators the universal indicators show different colors at different concentration of hydrogen ion in a solution okay <coughs> and uh, it shows it shows a uh, uh, different different color in a uh, different uh, and concentration of concentrations of hydrogen in a present in a solution. Okay. <coughs> a scale of measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution called pH scale has been developed for uh, measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. There is a pH scale. Okay. The P in pH stand for potent, potent, potent in German meaning power. Okay. In a potent, stand for potent in German and it means power. Okay. On the pH scale, we can measure pH generally from 0 to 14. Okay. 0 is uh, very acidic and 14 is very alkaline. Okay, alkaline. pH should be thought of uh, uh, simply as a number which indicates the acids, acidic or uh, basic nature of a solution. Okay. pH should be thought to uh, thought to Simply as a number of a number, which indicators which indicates which indicates uh, the nature of a solution that is acidic or basic in nature. Okay. 
higher than uh, higher the hydro hydronium hydronium ion concentration lower in pH value higher in a uh, hydronium hydronium ion concentration lower in pH value okay zero lower in pH value this one is our pH scale okay the pH of a neutral solution is seven and the pH of a neutral solution is seven values less than seven on on the pH scale represent represent a acidic solution and uh, less than seven on pH scale it to represent an acidic solution less than seven as the pH value increase from increase from seven to fourteen it shows it represent increase of increasing increase in a uh, OH minus Hydrogen oxide, okay. Ion concentration in the solution that is increase in the strength of alkali, okay, alkali. Basically, basically, paper uh, impregnated uh, paper generally paper. Uh, Generally, paper uh, impregnated, impregnated, okay, with a universal indicators is used for measuring pH. Here you can see this one is our pH scales. And uh, on this side. The acidic nature increase. Okay, it means H plus iron increase. Okay, increasing H plus iron in solution. And uh, on this side, basic nature increase. I mean, uh, this side basic in basic it means OH OH minus iron increase and decrease in H plus iron concentration. Okay. In zero, zero is very, uh, very acidic, and fourteen is very alkaline. Okay, and uh, this one is our neutral seven. Okay, neutral value is our seven. The gastric juice is about 1.2. Lemon juice is about 2.2. Okay, it means gastric juice is uh, more acidic. Okay, gastric juice is more acidic, and uh, lemon juice is lemon juice is about 2. Point. This one is also uh, acid. Pure blood is about 7.4 neutral value. Okay. Milk of magnesia 10 and sodium hydroxide solution is about 14. This one is our this is this solution is our more alkaline. Okay. And the uh, gastric juice is very acidic and uh, sodium hydroxide solution is very Alkaline, okay. The strength of acids and bases depend on uh, the number of H plus ion and OH minus ion produced, okay, respectively. It means the strength of acid, it depends on the number of uh, H plus ion and uh, the strength of bases it depends on the number of OH minus. Okay. If we 
talk uh, if we talk to hydrochloric acid and uh, acetic acid of the same concentration say one more uh, say one molar molar than uh, this pro produce different amount of hydrogen ion acids acids that uh, gives rise that gives rise to more h plus ion are said to be strong acids and uh, and uh, acid that gives less h plus ion are said to be weak acid okay it means uh, uh, acid that gives uh, more h plus ion is said to be strong acid and uh, it gives less h plus ion it's said to be weak acid okay question that uh, can uh, can you now say that what uh, weak and strong bases are simple uh, strong bases are uh, strong bases that uh, uh, sorry bases that uh, gives uh, more oh minus are said to be strong bases okay and uh, bases that uh, give uh, less oh ions which minus ion are said to be less bases okay this is the importance of ph in everyday life are plants and animals ph sensitive okay so i hope you uh, understand about all this today we have discussed this okay so i hope you understand all the video so that's all for today thank you have a nice day